Hey, we're live again, James Moody speaking, trainingsites.io. I wanna do a follow-up on custom GPTs, which I've been talking about this week and how they relate to maybe kind of even replacing content courses or traditional courses and some neat things you can do with them as a coach or consultant, a speaker, an expert, someone who traditionally did training by creating content. Uh, and uh, if you haven't seen some of the other videos about how to actually create a custom GPT and where they fit in, I'll put the links below, but right now in this one, I wanna show you a trick when you're using custom GPTs that allow you, as the instructor, the teacher, the expert with all of this experience, to be able to interject yourself live and in real time in custom GPTs. So it's not just about creating a custom GPT that ChatGPT goes and provides the answers to your specific tasks that you've built your custom GPT for. This is one that allows you as the instructor to be involved as they go through the process. And remember the reason that I think creating custom GPTs as a teacher or someone who is a trainer or wants to share their expertise, um, think of it this way. If you are learning how to do something, do you want to start right away by learning all the words and content about it? Or do you want to actually get started and create something? Well, this is a situation that I ran in today because uh, every Wednesday I do a live open classroom. Uh, and one of the calls, uh, one of the people that was asking uh, about, you know, custom GPTs, um, they're not in a business market. They were actually, or pardon me, they are actually uh, someone who teaches people how to write cozy mysteries. And I'm not entirely sure what a cozy mystery is, but uh, I guess it's either short stories or mysteries have a particular style to it, and it's called a cozy mystery. So that's something that they teach. It isn't business related. It isn't, uh, you know, some kind of thing that you would normally associate with a training course, but it's a specific example where you can use something like a custom GPT to be able to get people to write a story real quickly. And the question was, well, how I'm the instructor, how do I put myself in it? How do I help teach? How do I guide people through that process? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. This is a little bit of a secret. I don't know if you know about it, um, but it allows you to be very, very helpful right within the custom GPTs that you create for the people that you're teaching. And again, remember, I'm looking at this saying, hey, courses are fine, content's fine, but I think people want to get past the content as quickly as they can, get doing what they need to do with as much focused energy on it and some guidance and help when they need it. And this is exactly what we did. So if you take a look on the screen here, um, and I have the link here, if you haven't already, please make sure to go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. It's over there on the bottom of the screen. This is my campus where I have all of my prompts, all of my videos, um, all the links, everything is there for you to have. It's free to join the community. It's all about starting, building and growing an education business. Um, again, we have live calls uh, every Wednesday at one, plus there's just a bunch of great information here uh, if you do want to learn about AI and how it applies to uh, to teaching and growing an online business, basically sharing all of your expertise. This is the actual GPT that I built uh, for them, and we built it on the call. And you'll notice that um, a couple things, and again, with these ones, I didn't create anything fancy. This was done via a prompt. Even the graphic was created by a prompt by ChatGPT when I asked it to create a custom GPT. Uh, and there's the link to it. So if you do happen to be here, uh, any of the custom GPTs that I've created are here available for you. But I want you to take a little look here. This was a GPT and they asked, they said, hey, I want to be involved in this. How can we do that? And this is actually what I did. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, hopefully that you can see it. But what we happened is I said, you know what, why don't we make sure that you're in it? So what we're going to do is we're going to include a student profile, that the profile is for the person using the GPT. So you, as a user, they're going to be able to give you the age, reading level, strength, struggles, and writing goal. So the custom GPT is going to ask for that information. But here's the one. I'm also going to include instructor notes, creative steps, and instructor insights. And we set up this uh, custom GPT so that when someone was actually going through the process that we created in the custom GPT, there was a creative step that was generated as they started. 
There was some, some instructor notes on the best way to do it. And then there was instructor insights after. Now, if I said instructor note, creative step and instructor insights, is that ChatGPT insights or is it yours? Well, this time we want to make sure that these are your instructor notes, your creative steps you're putting in and your insights. How do we do that? Well, this is how we do it. When you are creating a custom GPT, we're just on the screen here. I'll put it up to the other other one. Hopefully you can see this uh, big enough. Let me just see it. Try and make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So hopefully that's a little bit bigger. So when you when you are creating a custom uh, GPT and you are editing the GPT after, you can see there's a create here and a configure. When you're actually interacting with it, you can add um, and remove pieces of the GPT and update it. This one's already created. So it says, welcome back, you know, to the anything cozy should be doing better. We're not going to use that one. I want to go to configure. Now, why do I want to go to configure? Because when you want to, you can also include knowledge here on the left-hand side. What does that mean to you? It means that you can upload any of your documents, any of your knowledge, any of your experience, if you have files, you're able to upload them to your custom GPT so that it can reference them while people are going through it. So we were talking about here, we we're talking about a student profile, instructor note, creative step, and instructor insight. And notice there's a title to them, right? So here's what I did. If I wanted to add them, which I do here, I'm going to go upload files and I now have an instructor insight PDF. I'm going to upload that one. I'm going to also upload files. Wait till that one uploads. Also going to upload creative step PDF so that you see that one. Make sure we're in the right place here. There we go. So we got instructor insights, creative step, and then I'm going to upload another one, which was instructor notes. So I now have my references, my documents added for those particular steps. And I'm also going to see code interpreter and data analysis. So here's the thing. Allow GPT or chat GPT to run code when enabled. This GPT can analyze data work with files you've uploaded, do math, and more. So every time now, when this GPT runs, I'll just make sure that we update it here. Next time someone goes to use this, there's going to be the prompts in the actual GPT about instructor notes, instructor insights, and creative steps. So this is in, but it's using your data as the instructor and the teacher. It's not just the chat GPT regurgitating stuff, you're actually in the GPT. Now I put up one document here. You can add as many documents as you want. Uh, you know, as an example, one some of the ones that I just, just to, you know, kind of put them together uh, is, you know, here's my, uh, here's my creative step one. So, you know, all of the elements, amateur sleuth, all the different pieces here. This is all information for me as the instructor. These are my creative steps that we go through. I've added these ones. These are the ones that the custom GPT will go. Um, you know, here's my instructor notes, key characteristics of mysteries, elements of a plot, uh, and then any insights, for example, character development, setting the scene, and then all of the different pieces here. So we've now got a situation where it's not only ChatGPT using or generating the responses, it's ChatGPT with your content, and now you're involved right within the actual process of people teaching. And if you think about this as a student or someone who's trying to learn something and you have the choice between going to a site, logging in, taking a course that's got seven lessons and 13 topics and four quizzes and all the traditional stuff before you start writing, or would you like to start writing and have the instructor there with you clarifying things, explaining things, and actually working off of the content that you've created while you're actually creating it. This is a situation where you can write a book or write a story in an afternoon, as opposed to going through a course to learn how to do it. You've actually got someone there while you're doing it and while you're experiencing it. I think this is a really cool way to kind of sidestep or add yourself into what is traditionally 
thought of as just a prompt response, prompt response AI tool. This is a way to replace a course with a custom GPT and include yourself in it. So if this is the kind of thing that makes sense to you and you want to learn more about it, please make sure to go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. Also like and subscribe to the channel. I do one to two videos like this every day. And it's everything about helping you start, build, and grow your education business. Take care. Expect the best. We'll be back tomorrow. Got some more great AI news on how you can take advantage of this cool stuff that's coming daily.